Let's talk about adding binary numbers, but before I do that, I've been using a term up until this point I don't think I've explained, so I want to explain it. Let's pretend you had a bank account and it had this much money in it, and I told you that I was going to hack into your bank account, and I was going to convert every digit in your bank account to a zero, except for one of them, and you could choose whichever one you wanted to not become the zero. Well, looking at this, if if we uh, decide, let's make the two not a zero, well that would leave you with two dollars in your bank account. You may think, hey, the nine is the biggest number out of all these numbers, so let's let's leave the nine alone, but then go ahead and make the rest of them zero. And, but, but hopefully you realize, you know what, I, I really want, that's an arrow, I really want to leave this three alone. So then that would be three and then turn the rest into zero. Which, which one of these values is the greatest? Well, two, if, if we uh, zeroed out everything here except the two, then you're left with two dollars in your bank account. Not ideal, of course it's not ideal that I'm hacking into your bank account anyway, but uh, two dollars in your bank account, not ideal. Now the nine, yes, nine is the largest value out of all these values, but uh, leaving the nine alone leaves you with nine hundred dollars. You went from thirty nine eight 3982 dollars in your bank account down to 900 which is better than going to two but not as good as staying at three thousand okay so even though three is one of the smaller numbers out of all these numbers we want to leave the three alone simply because of its position here it is the most significant digit out of all of these digits and two is the least significant digit okay going on those terms what if I said I'm going to convert one of your digits to a zero instead of all of them except one I'm only going to convert one of them to a zero which digit would you like me to convert to a zero well if you choose the two then that would leave you with three nine eight zero in your bank account you've only lost two dollars okay if you chose the eight that would be three nine zero two but now you've just lost eighty dollars that's not ideal so hopefully you're seeing that this two is least significant and this three is the most significant number all right so least significant most significant digits let's add some binary numbers adding a binary works a lot like adding in decimal which you're used to let me just give you a binary value here that we can add uh, let's go like this and uh, let's actually, before we get into that, I want to compare that to adding uh, base 10 or decimal numbers here. So 2, 4, 9, 6, and let's add that to 4, 3, 8, 2. And I'll even drop the addition symbol here. 6 plus 2 is 8. So I gave you $6, and then I gave you 2 more dollars. That gives you $8. Or 6 $1 bills, 2 $1, $1 bills makes eight one dollar bills and then I come and I say well I'm going to give you nine ten dollar bills and eight ten dollar bills well nine plus eight ten dollar bills that leaves you with seventeen ten dollar bills which is the equivalent of a hundred and seventy dollars okay the fact that we're, I'm giving you ten dollar bills is is important they're not just one dollar bills they're ten dollar bills well I can't just come down here and write seventeen Okay, because what this really means is if we keep adding here, 4 plus 3 is 7, and 2 plus 4 is 6, then now we have, six, I can't even read this, 67,178, which is not the result of this. I've snuck in an extra digit here, all right? The number of digits is significant, and the value of those digits is significant. And I just can't sneak a digit in here. If you think about it, I have a six-figure salary, I'll hear people say, and, and what they're really saying by six-figure is they're making a lot of money, all right? The, the fact that it's a six-figure, that's over $100,000 a year. That's six, six figures. Six is significant. Now, if you're making a five figure five figure salary that's par average probably for most of us um, if you're making a four then you're probably struggling in poverty that kind of thing the number of digits I just is important I just can't sneak in this additional digit here so what do I do I have this these 17 ten dollar bills and so what we say is you know what I'll take ten of those ten dollar bills and I will trade you ten of those ten dollar bills for a $100 bill. Alright, and this is quite common. If you go to your bank, you could easily make this exchange. Give them 10 $10 bills, and they will happily give you a 
$100 bill, or vice versa. I'll give you a $100 bill. Can you give me 10 $10 bills? Make some change, as we call it. All right, so I'm going to give you one $100 bill. That means I'll carry this one up here. Here's one $100 bill. I'll remember, this is the ones place, the the tens place, and this is the hundreds place. Hundreds place, so that's one $100 bill. And I'll let you keep uh, the other seven $10 bills. All right, so then instead of saying 17 here, we put the seven $10 bills there and the one $100 bill up here. All right, now... You're probably thinking, Jamie, wow, that was a lot of words and the long way of describing just to carry the one. But it's significant. We're, we're carrying the one because we're making change. I'm giving you one $100 bill and letting you keep seven of those $10 bills. And then we can just keep adding. That's why we do the carry. And I think uh, all too often maybe that's not explained in elementary school. I know it wasn't explained to me. The teacher just said, hey, carry the one. And we learned the pattern, but we don't really understand why that works. Well, I just explained why it works. All right, let's continue adding here. Four plus three is one. I mean, I'm sorry, four plus three is seven plus eight. One is eight, wow, long day. Okay, and then two plus four is six. So this value plus this value is this value, and let's make our seven a little more proud to be here. Okay, well, guess what? Adding in binary works the same, but before we do the binary add, I'm going to put something up here just for our reference. This is a zero in binary. This is a one in binary. We're, again, we're just driving our scooter down the road and adding numbers as we go. This is a two in binary and this is a three. That's a three in decimal, I just tried to write. This is a three in binary. All right, and I'm going to write their decimal equivalent out here. Zero, one, two, two, three. Okay, so with that in mind, let's add these values. Zero plus zero is 0. 1 plus 1 is 2. Now I can't write 2 here because that's base 10 value. All right? I, I, we're, we're in binary. We can either write 0 or a 1, so I can't do, do a 2 there. So what do I do? Well, 2 in binary is this. Well, again, look, there's two digits. I can't come down here and say, well, it's 2. Right? I have the same problem as I had here with the 17. Okay, I have two digits, and sneaking in a digit actually makes my value larger than it should be. I can't just... So what am I going to, going to do? I'm going to make change. I'm going to say, let me take one of your twos. Or, uh, you got two, so let me take your one, your two one dollar bills, if you would, and I'll give you a two dollar bill up here. And actually, this is a four dollar bill. So let's, let's, let's go back to what this really is. These, this is the twos place in binary, so... I'm giving you one two, I'm giving you another two. Well, that's actually a four. So I'll make change, I'll give you one four and then zero twos back. All right, that's what we're doing there. So we carry the one, just like we did over here. We carry and we leave the other digit there. Notice the one zero here. One plus one is two, so one zero, that's our two. One zero, that's our two. Well, same thing here. One plus zero plus one, that's another two. All right, well again, I can't just write one zero here. I have to make change so so here we go one let's carry the one put the zero here and one plus one plus zero is two again so zero and one and then one plus nothing is one we gained another digit out here which is fine no big deal but here we go this binary number plus this bottom binary number is equal to that number well let's let's think what's the base 10 equivalent of this we can actually work this out quite simply i think I can get rid of my circle here without destroying too much of the screen. There we go. Uh, let's see, what is this number in base 10? Let's just draw them out here. This is 1, 2, 4, 8. So 1, 8 plus 1, 2, that's equal to 10. And then 1, 4 plus 1, 2 is 6. So that's going to equal 16. Well, what does this 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 mean? Well, if I kept going here, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, look at that. So 10 plus 6, 6 is 16, and same thing with the binary equivalent here, 10 plus 6 is 16. So pretty cool. Anyway, that's, that's kind of the basics of adding binary numbers. In the next video, I'm going to talk about, or I'm going to let you do a few of these, and we'll work them out.